Hey guys, uh, behind these doors lies the result of five months of work. It's been <laughs> quite a project all summer. So let's take a look. I've painted my Jaguar XK120 fixed head coupe yesterday. in this gorgeous Zermatt silver, which was actually a Porsche color. I painted a Lancia this color in the 90s and I really liked it. So instead of searching through many, many silvers, I just said Zermatt silver, that's it, I'm doing it this color. This is a 53, very early 53, and I realized they didn't paint them silver at this time after they changed the uh, factory where their factory was but it's a personal thing i said to myself the next car that i paint for my own use i'm going to paint it silver no matter what it is and this happened to be the next car and i was very i almost backed out and i almost painted it the um the original green color which was sort of an unfortunate uh puke green. I think it was a custom green. I don't think it was the uh, suede green or the pastel green, which is also not a nice color for this car. I think it's too uh, minty. So I painted it silver and I actually had a lot of problems with the base coat on this car. I haven't painted a car in quite a while. And silver base coat tends to model when you spray it. Actually, it pretty much likes to model, and not not getting it to model is very difficult. Modeling is, you get this sort of very light and dark shades throughout the paint. So it looks like a, if you look at the sky on a misty, cloudy day, it's not all gray. There's like a little bit of dark and a little bit of light. Well, I was able to fix the modeling um, just barely by misting in a top coat and I actually think out it, it came out perfectly I have to repaint the hood which is modeled a lot of times you won't paint a car separately when it's a metallic because there's a risk that it may not match but I did some panels separately and they matched very very well so um, you might see a little bit of shading difference on under certain angles just because of the way it sprayed but overall, um, I think that uh, it matches very well. So it's much better to paint a car with the panels off. It comes out cleaner. And it's actually a lot of work painting a car whole with all the panels. Um, so it gets to be kind of frantic. So metallics are tough, uh, I, admittedly, yeah, especially light metallics. So um, but I'm glad it came out very well. So some of the problem areas on 120s in particular are these front fenders. And I spent a lot of time on the body lines at the bottom. If you look at a lot of 120s, they're not straight across the bottom between the spats, the rear fender, the door, and the front fenders. That bottom line needs to be very straight. And it only curves up at the spat in the rear. And many 120s are just wrong. They're like all over the place. And it's very hard to get that right. And this is why it took me five months to get this thing ready. I had these front fenders cut. I had every panel cut apart to get them close to correct. And to say that they're 100%, no, they're not. And the reason they're not 100% is these front fenders are supposed to be very flat. Uh, not perfectly flat, but if you put a straight edge across here, if you're ever looking at a 120 to buy, that should be flat, very nearly flat. But on this car, this car has been so hacked up uh, before I got it that there's a slight bow in the front fender and there's really, I mean, I could fix it, but it's just not worth it. it this is a driver. So I've also put the another little spot on a 120, which is sort of in, of interest that you see wrong a lot of times, are these little whiskers, I call them coming off of the, uh, the side marker pod. And it should have a little whisker here. And what that is, is there's lead under here originally, 
and the way they sanded the lead was this way and then that way and however that line was which was actually very straight originally that's what you got but a lot of 120s you will see these whiskers have been eliminated so they sand someone sands it straight across like this and and blends this all in this is flat on a lot of cars and that is wrong in my opinion uh, unless they changed production at some point and stopped putting the whiskers on which uh, I'm not exactly a 120 expert, but I've seen many of them originals and they did have the whiskers here. So that's good. Another little spot on 120 that's tough is these headlight buckets. They always rust out at the bottom. So um, I would recommend putting a tiny little hole in there to drain the water out of the very bottom, which I've done, and then paint it very well. So I'm pleased, very, very pleased. The glass I've put in before I painted it, I really didn't want to do that for obvious reasons, you know, having to tape it off and, and stuff. But this car had roof damage and I wasn't sure if the windshield was going to fit. So I put the glass in before I did and boy am I glad I did it because I had to take a piece of new laminate windshields, the two windshields, and I had to cut them down to get them to fit in here exactly. So in other words, <laughs> this opening is, it doesn't look wrong, but it is maybe slightly ajar. So I had to cut both pieces of glass all the way along the bottom and up around the side. And cutting laminate, I'd never done it before, uh, is actually, it's not as hard as you might think. There is fire involved and heat, but it's, uh, it's not too bad. So I'm very pleased, I know I'm droning on, uh, this is one of the great joys of restoring a car, is seeing it painted for the first time. And if it's done well, yeah, it really gives the car its character throughout uh, your ownership, how it's going to look. Uh, it really changes how you, your impression of the car, from rough bodywork to primer, and then you think you like the primer colors, and then you paint it, and you're like, oh man, the car just has a, a character now, and it's like come into its own so uh, some of the other great joys of restoring a car are starting the engine for the first time that's always awesome but this is definitely better seeing it painted pulling the tape off oh, it's a wonderful thing okay I've been droning on long enough catch you next time bye bye